teaching here is cutting edge because we're very good at innovating. That's probably our, our greatest asset. Pharmacists work in a variety of different environments and it's very important to have these bespoke facilities available for pharmacy students so that it does reflect the, uh, the expertise that they need going forward. Well I've led a development of a number of innovative teaching methods, the first of which is a teaching app which we call Quiz. What Quiz allows students to do is to revise using their mobile phone. We like it as lecturers and teachers because it allows us to very quickly make a quiz that the students can use to learn with. So the Multilab is uh, our newest uh, addition to the facilities within the School of Pharmacy. It's a multi-user pharmaceutical chemistry laboratory and uh, for the students it's a fantastic place to work. It's an open laboratory environment and uh, I think above all the equipment in here is all open access so they get to use the same equipment that they use in teaching as they would do in research and later on. So when a student is in here they can spend as much time as they want to learning how to use the equipment and then they carry that knowledge on forward to their research project. The university has expanded a lot over the years. Science and healthcare has really come to the fore over the past decade with the addition of the medical school and certainly the school of pharmacy and the, the multi-laboratory itself. Uh, I've also developed something called the Synoptic Assessment for Stage 2 and that really builds upon my experience in the pharmaceutical industry. We simulate the discovery of a new drug and through doing that the students get to integrate their knowledge that they've uh, gathered in the second year. I also have made use of our cave which is a three-dimensional virtual environment and in the cave I've led on the use of that to explain how uh, drugs work. And we started up a programme uh, which we've carried through into pharmacy called Potter Farms and this links in with some work they do in the stage one of the pharmacy programme and stage two. So at stage one they learn about uh, molecules, learn about new drugs, how to make, uh, make them and learn about laboratory design, safety and all of those aspects that they need to be able to uh, carry forward into their studies in the later years of the programme. Um, all of the research that we've put together on this area and the uh, teaching innovations have uh, led to a number of different publications and I think the students appreciate it. One of the things I've just started doing is to develop video teaching. So. Uh, students will have the lecture presented to them in a video format and then subsequently uh, we have a discussion group instead of a formal teaching session and that really helps enrich their understanding. When you look at the bespoke facilities we have at Keele, they are state of the art. They do reflect the, uh, the areas that students will work in, whether it's in hospitals, whether it's in pharmacy practice, whether it's in industry or any other arena. We have state of the art facilities within pharmacy to make sure that the students get the experience they need. In five years time, we're delivering pharmacists who are fit for the future.